Two, if you don't know, Fault Line Theater is a young theater company empowering emerging artists to create vibrant new works. And as of this year, we are officially a 501c3 nonprofit organization. <laughs> Which means, as my executive producer has told me, I'm now obligated to put this part into my opening speeches. Which is, empowering emerging artists to create vibrant new works is expensive. And try as we might, ticket sales do not always cover our costs. And that's where we ask upon you, the humble donor, the proud patron, the good friend with a little extra scratch, to help us out in paying for all the wonderful people who make these productions possible. I also want to thank HowlRound for uh, uh, partnering for us with, this, for, uh, with us on this stream. Um, we're streaming the show live, so we're broadcasting out all across the nation. We are debuting, deb debuting new work here in San Francisco and bringing it nationally, and it's really exciting. Um, last thing I want to do is just thank some of the production staff who are here in the audience who couldn't come see the show last night. I want to thank you guys, the cast, the crew, the production staff. You guys killed this show. You kicked so much ass and should be so proud of the work you put on the stage. I want to thank Andrew Saito for bringing us this weird, quirky, perversely beautiful play and being such a joy to work with. And I want to thank Rem for his excellent execution. Rem Myers, the director, he had such an understanding and vision of this world and it was such a pleasure to work with him as well. All right, that's enough for me. Ladies and gentlemen, I want to welcome you to Stegosaurus or three cheers for climate change. <laughs> dishes and the glimmering slicks of oil on the road. What do you say, Claudie? Gonna make our millions? Shall I be a realist or an optimist? Whatever will have us more. Today's the day. Tomorrow I'll board that plane to Siberia. Bring back my prize. I thought I was your prize. You are, Claudie. But I refer to my other prize. They say those arctic glaciers are melting. I have to hurry up and catch my mammoth. Otherwise, she might be released from her frozen slumber and waltz away. Rot is what she do. There will be no rotting. My mammoth will be preserved for all posterity. You really think you'll find one? It was ordained in time immemorial. There is a hirsute dumbo locked in some Siberian ice. My name emblazoned across her hide. Mammoth will be my masterpiece, my finest execution of taxidermy yet. Zach, why don't you set your sights a little closer to home? I, I've searched this continent far and wide. You've searched this county, if that. I have my chipmunk, <laughs> yeah, my raccoon, my coyote. I need to graduate to another level, my Georgia peach. Do something attainable, like I do. Jacuzzi in our backyard's a pipe dream. Why do you always <laughs> insist on bursting my bubble? Because bubbles are meant to be popped. Like zits. I told you, quit assaulting your cutis. I, I like popping my zits. It ruins your face. Keep that up, your face will be pockmarked and cracked. 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 
<laughs> Crack magazine. <laughs> Crack pipe. Ass crack. <laughs> Cracker. Uh, uh, ass in Ritz. Ass in Trisket. And cheese it. And salt beans. Hey, have you noticed that crack up in the ceiling? I've been pondering it of late. And have you considered pondering some home repair? Uh, it's an interesting idea, but if I fixed it, then it would disappear. I'm glad we agree. Well, if it disappeared, then it would curtail my imagining. You see that crack? It resembles the Amazon River in its shape. I sit my ass on that linoleum, and I gaze up at that Fisher drywall, and I think, Satch, you're on a South American rainforest safari. Keep an eye out for Jaguar. <laughs> and then I come to this. And River Dolphin. <laughs> you're gonna kill one of those river flippers. Fix its carcass up real nice, and sell it to Sotheby's. Not Sotheby's. eBay, then. Satch. Fix the crack. Do you think we should? I know we should. Suppose you've some wisdom. Get to it then. Get to what? The crack. Not of my nature. Then change your nature. <laughs> Not up to me. Then who? The person putting words in my mouth, ask him. Her. Him. Her. Him. I will ask her if she decides to write the question into my mouth. Oh, and if he doesn't? If she doesn't, mom's the word. These are some interesting existential questions we've aroused. <laughs> I think I need to sit and ponder them. <laughs> quit that. But I'm pondering. You'll aggravate your dandruff. I said quit that. It ain't my head I'm scratching, it's my orifices. Even worse, cut that but out. My orifices have got the itch, it's a trend of late. Spare me! Oh, try as I might, the itch won't go away. I stick a fork in my ear and I jiggle and I stick an ice pick up. Nowhere, ma'am. Nowhere. <laughs> oh. Oh. You know, lately, it ain't just my orifices. Yeah, I'm feeling the itch all over. Is your body itching too, honey? A bit. Oh, God, I wish I had talons that I'd rip my skin off. For the good of the world, take an antihistamine instead. Where are they? Medicine cabinets. <laughs> to be missed. That George Bush Pez dispenser? Nah. That is not a winning sales pitch, Claudie. Watch and learn. Ladies and germs, this George Bush Pez dispenser is sure to fly up. Ooh. Ooh. What? There are on the road. It's a, um, a something. I'm going to go check it out. Sash, let someone else scrape up the roadkill. It's my job, Claudie. It's how I bring home the bacon. Today is your day off. What? I might miss out on something spectacular. In the world of roadkill, everything is a one of a kind. Oh, heavens. Go ahead, Mosey. <laughs> I'm the sadder. <clears throat> hey, you! Yes, you! Come on over! We're having a holiday tag sale. That's right, I said tag sale. Tag sale? Um, Chopskis you regret buying. Think you'll recoup your loss? Happy Fourth of July to you too. Miss, you're sweating something fierce. This heat. And that scratching? Heat rash, I guess. 
Don't make me scratchy, it makes me languid. It's like a sauna today, record breaking. That's what the weatherman said. Hottest July 4th ever. Hottest day ever, July 4th or otherwise. Well, you should distract yourself from this inferno by perusing my tag sale. I have enough frippery already, thank you. How about this petrified dinosaur dung? Oh, no. Steven Seagal solo album? <laughs> Nope. The collected works of William Shatner. <laughs> you love that? They're gripping. Intrigued? No. Prices are negotiable. What's all this? Masterpieces. <laughs> oh, they look like roadkill to me. This is the finest taxidermical work you will ever find. A see that movie Pet Cemetery? Yeah. A zombie cat? Spitting image. You make these? My spouse. Genius artiste, why don't you take some? This Wolverine, rare beast, $20. It'll scare my daughter. We can file down the incisors, 15, 10. Maybe I'll bring in my Pomeranian. She's on her last legs. It might be nice to have her for posterity. I'll pray for her demise. Just kidding. Take this uh, hamster, five bucks. He'll smile from your dashboard or your desk. Cluttered enough as it is. Four bucks. I'll think about it. $3.50? I'm gonna walk around the block, me mosey on back. I suppose that's a thanks, but no thanks. Correct a Rooney. <laughs> Happy fourth, then. Happy fourth. <sighs> Don't take it personally, Claudie. Gotta cast a wide net. Tag sale! Fourth of July tag sale! Hang this serenading fish above your mantle. Here's a Chia pet, mm -hmm. and a Chia Obama. <laughs> Chisel your quads with a stationary bike out back. Make some most excellent clothing rack. Rock your bodacious peach bod with this Mr. T bikini. <laughs> I pity the fool who does not understand the value of this Klingon language keyboard. <laughs> or this. Already by I'm getting tan beneath my clothes. It's so damn hot. The saliva in my mouth is steaming. I does head indoors. Give myself pneumonia with that AC. Lock me in an igloo somewhere. Plunge me into the Arctic Sea. But that mommy, it's out there, hovering in the humidity. It'll fuel my ascent, but I'm weighed down by all this extraneous bullshit. Fire extinguisher, ugh. Toothbrush, ugh. <laughs> Tag sale, 4th of July. That was odd. Those trees are dropping their leaves. Ain't that an autumn activity? Oh well. Record-breaking temperatures are going to bring us record-breaking profits. Fortune paved the streets and I was there to scrape her up. This here is a windfall. Sparrows. An entire flock. Those birds will dig us deeper in the hole with all the turpentine will guzzle till you sell them. But you won't. Oh, that's out. Swift as molasses, huh? I didn't quit. Look at them. They're, they're so cute. That one wasn't even run over yet. What were all those birds doing on the road? Being retired. You dead? Suppose it was the heat? You think? A scalder is today. A scorcher. A steamer. A singer. A sizzler. A blazer. A burner. A boiler. A broiler. A roast. A roaster. A toaster. Today is a toaster oven dialed up high. My dress is soaked on. My boxers. My briefs. My boxers and my briefs. Go commando. I am. You are. Does that. Briefly. <laughs> I get zapped by the heat. The heat. Oh, the heat. My shirt is soaked. My pants. 
My sweat has breached the fiber of my denim. Why do you put on jeans? I like jeans. But the grass <laughs> wilts towards bristleness. <sighs> so. And my sweat <laughs> sizzles into steam on my skin. So. <laughs> and the windows warp and so damn hot. Bloody, these jeans are snazzy. They're Jordash, Satch. They can't be snazzy. <laughs> my friends think they're snazzy. Friends? Yeah. This uh, porcupine? Uh, is, what do you think this was before it met God in a tire tread? Sash, I grew tired of living amidst your menagerie of flats and fauna, inflated with a bicycle pump. Mark my words, Claudie. One day, all of my taxidermy will be sold and to the Smithsonian. And if they don't bite? Then I'll open my own Smithsonian. <laughs> so it'll be called the Saxonian. Yeah, and there'll be one in every city, right between Madame Tussauds and Anne Ripley's, believe it or not. A franchise, all father. We will be rich. And finally buy that jacuzzi? Ten of them. Twenty. Darling, a hundred if you want. <laughs> oh, the very thought makes me faint. Oh. One hundred jacuzzis colonizing my backyard. They'll have to be stacked. One on top of the other. I'm gonna need a long ladder to get inside, but oh, the ecstasy of soaking in a hot tub 20 stories high with a Mai Tai and a daiquiri and in each hand will I turn my nose up at the world below. It's gonna take a mountain of dough. Pyrenees worth. The Himalayas. Never out of our grasp. You gotta think positive, Blotty. Reach for the stars. Can't reach for the stars from quicksand, Satch. Quicksand? The bills, the elusive dreams. I got a plan, Blotty. Believe in me. No one buys your taxidermy, Satch. No one even wants to look. Well then, we'll, we'll climb up your fortunes. <laughs> what fortunes? Watch and learn. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, for your buying pleasure, drum roll, please. Popka? Who in their right mind would buy a popka? You did. Lies? Don't lose yourself if you must. It shoots nothing. Bullets or, or buckshot? Not even water. It's a stupid pork on string. Wouldn't even hurt a fly. to my art form full time. Full time? Overtime, baby. Your job. This bounty, I will need roadkill. And your paycheck. I sell for dimes when diamonds have cascaded upon us. Diamonds? The birds. They're dead. Exactly. <laughs> well, if you quit your job, I'm quitting mine. Go right ahead. Vultures. Hey, hey, you stay away, you vulture scum. Do you come any closer or no? Ow! Claudie, they're not listening. They don't speak English, Sash. Right. Ah! 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 No, the dude, uh, give me that lightsaber to whack me. It's a toy. Do you know that? Touche! On guard! 
I am your father and all that jazz. And all those things. Please don't eat me or my babies, please. If you bald-headed, overgrown pigeons don't scram, I'll snap your necks, poke out your eyes, and grab your feathers off your buttholes. <laughs> That's what I thought. Uh. Bitches! Vultures are gone. What'd you do? Unleashed my charm. You gonna taxiderm those eagles out here? Got to. Power's dead. Can't wait keep them in the fridge. You call about it? I will. It wouldn't be a good idea. Your objective? What's my objective? What you yearn for. What you need. Um, it fuels the action which fuels the play. Um, I need to make beautiful taxidermical objects. <laughs> my, you are a beauty. King of the birds. You can't be handling that eagle. They're protected. Someone will think you shot it out of the sky. God shot it, Claudie. God. I'd argue it was the writer. Shall we call the EPA on him? <coughs> Don't you mean her? <coughs> In this case, she is most definitely a he. Flip flopper. <laughs> Can you hand me that carving knife? Remember to clean it after. I don't like my stuff tarnished. And cutting into animals makes me feel so close to nature. Sinking my hand into the bowels and the blood. It's almost like we become kin. Yeah. <laughs> Turpentine? Here. Beat! 
Guess I'm never going there again with all these grounded planes. Try to chip me, eh? Here's some diamond cufflinks to throw on top. Give them. Skin beast. Search. Do you remember that we met? At the grove to the 70s party? Oh, Claudia, how could I forget? I was dressed as Cher. And you were sizzling, a sizzling skilled you were. And you looked so sexy dressed as Sonny Boy. Oh, Claudia, you're making me blush. And your blushing causes a song in my esophagus. Would you like to sing it with me, Satch? Oh, Claudia, I thought you'd never ask. They say, well, we don't know, we won't find out till we go. Just, just please, put on the mask. The hotness, Sash. You're the hotness. 
The Royal Highness, downright Arthurian. Please put on the mask. Only because it makes you harder to see. Said. Oh, silent morning. <laughs> the enlightened path. All this dust coating your coats and your visages. Dust coats everything. TV, couch, taxidermy. Dust coats the world. Shoe dust shoe! Germs, in fact, responsible for Beethoven's ninth and the theory of relativity and every act of human genius. What's it like to be dust? On that note, what's it like to have a tail? How does it feel to spin a web? To breathe through gills? To grow from a tadpole to a toad? to incubate your offspring in your mouth. What's it like to have wings? Oh. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the law of gravity. Don't you fret, man. One day they'll all be jealous of you. 
in your regal plumage, so prominently displayed at the Satchsonian. Satchsonian will house my mammoth, carted back from Siberia. People are gonna pay to see that mammoth. Mammoth tacos, mammoth pizza, chili con mammote, fettuccine and more mammoth bolognese. Mammoth at your face. kai mammoth! <laughs> oh, I'm hungry. Why did we sell all that eagle meat? What happened to the party? Nobody was there. House looks empty. All the houses looked empty. Driveways, too. We must have left town for the holidays. Guess so. I hope you get paid. Those pennies ain't nothing to fret about. Cause I've got my rings, I've got my bling, I've got my Benjamins. Call me Cleopatra. Please. Call me Oprah. <laughs> Double please. Call me Priscilla, <coughs> queen of the desert. First time to come in desert. I know, hence Priscilla, Avi. <sighs> What's that in your hand? A bulb from the garden. Why? Nutrition. Uh, <gasps> you just gonna pop it in your mouth? Slice of paper thin, saute with garlic, tarragon, cayenne pepper, of course. Garlic's gone, my gingerbread's trumpet. Power, too. You didn't call yet? Phone's dead. Damn electric stove. I told you we should have bought a gas one. Well, we didn't. Oh, well. A lot of things we didn't do. Never flew in a hot air balloon. I never made a gingerbread house. Never finished chicken soup for the soul. I started it five times. <laughs> Don't worry. It, it's above you. <laughs> I never learned a rollerblade. Never got that filling replaced. Hey, maybe we should pause the play. That's it. Give us time to mollify all our regrets, tie up loose ends and such. If we did that, I could finally finish the Cub Scouts. <laughs> but how do we accomplish such a feat, putting things on pause? It'd be difficult. Play's moving at warp speed and all. <gasps> I'll try the remote control. <laughs> the little light's not blinking when I press the button. Battery's probably dead. I suspect there aren't any more. You suspect correct. Maybe we could write in an intermission. Maybe. Maybe during intermission, we could put solar panels on this building. Maybe. Maybe we could stop deforestation. You think? Maybe we can pass legislation to lower auto emissions, too. Uh, that sounds like a lot of work. It better be one long intermission. Maybe double intermission. Well, better pick up your pen. Uh, that pen's looking very heavy. And my eyes droop just looking at it. You can do it. I'll help you. Give me a bite. Mm -mm. 
Just a, a, a nibble. Sorry, yo. A morsel. Dig up your own damn bowl. Fuck. Well? I'll get to it. <laughs> when I'm good and ready. Spit out that ball or I'll gouge out your eyes. Sure are sticky. Go ahead. Wow. 
wash off. Please go shower. Satch. Satch. Please go take a shower, Satch. I said go take a stupid shower to wash your stupid skin in a stupid slime! I'm hungry. Claudia, I'm hungry. Lick yourself. Bumps all over your skin. What bumps? On your back. On your chest. It's probably a rash from all that crap you hurled on me. This ain't no rash I've ever seen. They look like golf balls protruding from your skin. Well, why didn't you notice when I was dancing? Because you were dancing. You blinded me with your moves. the face of God. 
<laughs> I see it. The face of God up there, smiling. That smile spreads cheer across the earth. That smile. What does God use for dental floss? Who is God's dental provider? Do you suppose God has ever had cavities? What implacable force could ever decay one of God's teeth? The tops me. The devil. Do you think maybe the devil? Please. God cast him down in inferno. Uh, the devil in cahoots with the ghost of Osama bin Laden. Nah. The devil allied with the ghost of bin Laden and the ghost of Hitler and our fair. Before he turns good at the end of the Return of the Jedi. Ooh. Spoilers. <laughs> water. Sorry, chap. This is a waterless house. Oh, you. Your skin. What about my skin? Tumors. You're covered with them. I am. Oh, one, two, the three. My, my, you've a gaggle. Oh, my God. Call it, call a doctor. <laughs> Call an anesthesiologist and a surgeon and call an herbalist and a cranial sacralist and a psychic too! Hold your horse, Satch! Claudia, the tumors. You see them? They look like cancer. Like jumping to conclusions. They look like cancer to me. Are they cancerous or are they not? Are they malignant or benign? So many questions to answer before action can be entertained. For example, how are we going to call anyone medical when the telephone's gone kaput? Divine will! Alas! Where did you come from? Satch, I told you to attend to that crack! The captain goes down with the ship! True! Rule of nature that I screwed nature! Are you confessing? to be still love-making. Why does your mind always jump to fauna fucking? He could have tapped a tree. I jumped ship. With a parachute? The only one pushed passengers out of the way. <laughs> You're the pilot, and you let passengers plummet to their death. Bingo. Well, that's fucked up. Hell, if you don't look after yourself. Well, the parachute had holes. That's God for you. Or karma. He doesn't look Hindu. Something in the air spooked you. Was it a mid-air collision? No. Birds nested in the propeller. No! He forgot to refuel. Oh, plenty fuel. In inflamed the heat. I told you record breaking. Everything poisoned. The birds! The seas boiling. The trees burning. Indeed, I have never seen trees burn like that before. You have to yes. have to watch. Should, should I get my binoc? Watch out! Some kind of warning. Some warning swarming. Maybe we should listen. Do you think we should listen? The dying and the burning and the rising and the withering. Yes! Yes! And the... Hold on. You've got mold on your ceiling. <laughs> oh, sure do. Think we should clean that? Yep. Yeah. Nope. What do you mean, no? Nope. That mold looks like a Einstein. Einstein? Yeah. We could frame it. Charge admission! You don't see Einstein? It, it's, it's there. That's not Einstein. That's Marge Simpson. <laughs> no! It looks like Angela Davis to me. <laughs> the mold is moving. It snails down the wall. It, it moves across the ceiling, slowly, slowly, almost imperceptibly. Amazing what you notice when you're a shattered heap. Body. Memory. Suck your thumb. Oh, help. Eat your thumb. The mold descends. The sun. The dust. Body. What? My stomach with numbles. Mine too, Satch. Mine too. The mold descends slowly, like a mountain moving. The spores flutter 
seduced by gravity. I feel the spores descend upon my skin. They tendril microscopically into my dermis. Give time, time. The cotton haze will enshroud my organism. I will be a fungal cloud creature, mold made into man. Those white filaments will penetrate my hippocampus. I will find clarity at last. Given me an airline discount. <laughs> to Siberia? Mammoth land. Bring on the thaw! Bring on the thaw! Buy a ticket, Bring... we got the dough. That's a really swell idea, Claudie. If you say so. Real swell idea. Oh. Real swell. that door and mosey up to that ticket counter. I'll get a move on when the heat dies down a little bit. We're about to get a good rain. Uh-huh. Hey, somebody should write that in. Good rain. Maybe someone could write your ass out the door. Or maybe write in a plumber. Or an electrician, a jacuzzi, perhaps. Well, there's an idea, Claude. Someone should tell someone about it. Someone should. Someone really should. Satch. Claudine? There's a fly buzzing by that man's lip. Oh. A fly is paying tribute. In a disrespectful manner. We should probably do something. Swat the fly. Indeed, we should. Where's the fly swatter? Um, in the store. Why don't you? Never mind. Still? We should fix that. We 
of nature that brought it to our hands and soon our gullets. May we use the nourishment it bequeaths to live lives worthy of he who provided us. Bada-bing, bada-boom, Grace! <laughs> oh, softly generous to that pilot to fall through a roof and die in the kitchen. Well, saint he was. I eat this meat, and as I digest it, it becomes my meat. His muscles will become my muscles. His arms will incorporate into my arms. Does that mean I'll inherit his thoughts? His secrets? His sins? Don't think about that. Just enjoy! Oh, you're so wise. It's a pity we never learned his name. Let's name him now. I christen him Amelia Earhart. <laughs> Amelia Westervez. You're no funny. These scrape to gather scraps sure do beat eating out. Wolfgang Puck, go fuck a duck. Uh, uh, civilized language at the dinner table, please. Uh, uh, do we have any wine to accompany this feast? No yeah. wine. How about water? Spigot's still sterile. You can lick some of the sticky stains in the fridge. Just pee in my glass. That's gross. Those will play right. Truer words. <laughs> If I hold this wine glass up under the sky, maybe I'll catch a few droplets. Droplets of what? Rain. Long time since it rained. Long time indeed. I have an idea. We could write a play that will make the clouds billow with water and command the temperatures to cool. The writing of the play, and the rehearsal of the play, and the long slog to raise six dollars and its eventual performance in front of audiences will make the world a cooler and more livable place. Let's do it! Now? Right now. Uh, sounds like a lot of work. It does, doesn't it? I wish you could just click my heels and it'd be done. Maybe you can. Did it work? Apparently not. Motherfucking shit, God damn it! Oh, now, now, my little peppermint queen. First of vein. <gasps> you know what would cheer you up? If you sang my favorite song. I'm retired from that, Satch. Oh, come on, just this once. It'll bring a smile to my cheeks. Only if you join in. I'm your friend. You're my friend. Friendship and laughter will never. Jets. 
or water. 